In late July, there were reports that Samsung will release an improved version of One UI 6 for select Galaxy phones, but nothing of the kind occurred, and Samsung made no comment. As Android 14 nears completion, Samsung's German branch unintentionally disclosed information on the One UI 6 beta program too soon. The notice was taken down, however they did highlight some of the improvements that would be made in the next UI upgrade. Samsung changed the design of numerous screen-related components in order to bring One UI SIXS appearance up to date. It will be improved to make it easier for you to access the shortcuts for frequently used items in the fast panel. In a move that will be identical to how they operate on iPhones, they are also relocating the controls for iComfort Shield and Dark Mode. You may slide downward from the screen's top right corner in One UI 6 to see additional choices in the fast panel. In the now-deleted release from Samsung, they mention a feature that enables users to choose multiple backgrounds for certain occasions. For instance, when your Galaxy phone enters sleep mode, the wallpaper may switch to a picture that expresses your mood. They also announced a brand new camera widget that allows you to transfer certain photographs to a desired location. One UI 6 should contain a number of the features that Google has shown off as part of Android 14, among many other modifications. A improved version of One UI 6 will launch for the Galaxy S23 series in the US, Korea, and Germany, according to Samsung's statement. However, given how Samsung conducted beta testing in the past, it is possible that additional nations and Galaxy phones may be included to the testing process in the future. For owners of the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra, the most thrilling time has come. Samsung has now launched the One UI 6.0 beta program for its most recent non-folding flagship series. Interested parties may enroll in the program to test the Android 14-based One UI 6.0 upgrade before the finalized version of the new software is made available to the general public. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that being said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.